Hello, Virgo couples. This video is only for those who are in a relationship, whether you're just getting into a relationship or whether you've been in this relationship for some time. All right. Let's see. Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, I'm going to be putting out three cards for you, three cards for the other person, and one advice card. This is just for the month of September 2017. I'm not sure if I mentioned already, but if you would like to book a private reading with me all that information is in the description below thank you to everybody who has subscribed liked and commented all right let's see two more two more shuffles i know we can be very impatient i am a virgo as well Hopefully the the darkness doesn't bother you guys. I'm just feeling that for today. So two of cups. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Partnership, coming together. Harmony. You're just mixing well together. Union, some of you it's reunion. Getting back with somebody from the past. Okay, now, fire energy, fire sign. Aries or Sag, okay? There's a lot of stress, okay? A lot of physical like work um, you might be feeling like you're the only one taking on everything okay I'm gonna leave this one flipped over I know you already saw it but I just wanted to make sure you guys we're able to see it okay all right the knight of of swords air energy air sign gemini aquarius or libra um this this king is like i know i know what i want i know how i want it and i'm a hundred percent sure about it okay so you might be doing well mentally on what you want and how your life is going even in this relationship okay i feel like you told this person exactly what you want and how you want it and it's like i'm only going to tell you this once i'm not playing around i don't got time to play games you know this is how it's going to go down okay there is in the middle here there's no particular order but Always a middle, I feel, is like the strongest what's really going on. And, you know, again, taking on too much. This is just about, you know, in the relationship here. But I feel like the relationship and everything else is just piling on top of you. Okay. Then the other person, once again, cups, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. 
fire energy once again very strong fire and cups okay we have the high priestess we have the queen of wands in the reverse so some emotional um pain here the other person must have gone through some type of pain some type of hurt some type of loss and it's it's still affecting them on their end, okay? This could be involving you or just someone someone from their past or something that, again, um, this card has to do also with, uh, you know, loss of a f family, a friend. So I just kind of see them like they're hurt or they just remember things that have been done in the past. If you're getting back with the same person from the past, they're still going through some type of hurt. Um, the Queen of Wands... So, you know, this queen here is demanding, wanting it their way. And no matter what, and it's crazy because here we have demanding and this person's like, I know, again, I know what I want. And this person is expecting something else. Okay. So... If they don't like it, who knows? Maybe there might be some bumping heads there. Um, the High Priestess. Um, it's not in the reverse, but the first thing that came to my head is secrets. So, for some of you, it is there's some secrets that haven't been out there. And for some, it's, it's more like... Have they really gotten over what has happened? You know what I mean? So I feel like they're just holding it in. And they're not being open about it. They're not accepting some type of truth. They're not being honest with themselves. But, you know, on the other hand here, it, the high priestess is... This person knows knows as well what they want and they're gonna you know stick by it and you know a lot of knowledge you could be with somebody older um just has been through things in life and has a lot of knowledge okay now as for the advice card all right so new beginnings just something completely new something different something like you know it's a beginning of something all right, so, I mean, we may have some issues here and there, but, I mean, it's nothing crazy. It's nothing intense. It's just something you guys need to work together and talk about and get on the same page, okay? Because, obviously, you're wanting it one way and they're wanting it another, and, obviously, somebody's going to get tired. So, it's just it being a team, you know? Let's see. Let's pull out some cards from the Romance Angels. Children. You may have children. They may have children. Children is what make, brings you guys together. Or it's just the atmosphere of having children around is just a really beautiful feeling. Maybe you were talking about having children together. Okay. Um, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, so Virgo, it's maybe this person is really not somebody you expected to be with, or you just obviously think see you see things differently. I'm sorry, I had coffee. You see things differently, and it's just somebody you didn't expect to be with. And for those, you didn't expect to be with this ex again. Okay, attraction. You attract. Let me bring this closer, you guys. I kind of feel like there's not enough light. Am I right? I don't know if that made it worse. Okay, you attract. Where am I? You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Wow, burn myself. 
I need more candles, don't I? All right, let's just pull out three more cards. Honey Moon, enjoy this bliss of holiday time together. All right, so even if it's going out on a date night or just doing something together, even if it's in, in your yard, it doesn't matter. Just talking about it. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yes. We have some things that we can't let go from the past. It is time to release all of that. Bring nothing but positive. Past life relationship, yeah. You have known each other before. Alright. So, for this month so far, the readings that I've done for today, it has a lot to do with communication. Okay? In Virgos, you know, I'm a Virgo. And I know it is very, very hard for us to communicate. I know that. I know that very well. So communicate. Communication. And I know the month of September was really crazy. You know, the Mercury retrograde, the eclipse, everything. It just threw people off. But it's time to get back on our feet and live a better healthier life okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up thank you to everyone once again for subscribing and i hope to hear from you guys soon take care and i wish nothing but the best for every single one of you